Hello everyone, we are in Michigan and we are currently at the St. Joseph River Park. There's nothing too vlog worthy here. It's not all that exciting. I thought uh, this is going to be a little bit more interesting than it is, but I did find something worth vlogging real quick. And there you go. Well, we are on the St. Joseph River and I had to get at least some video of the river during this trip. And so that's about it. Let's continue on. Well, our next stop is here in Dwajiak, Michigan. Now, I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right. I have no idea. I think I am, but we are in Dwajiak. That's what I'm going to call it. Michigan. And part of my goal for today is to visit the two other Four Winds casinos that I haven't been to yet. And we have arrived at the one in Dwajiak. Now, these other two, one in Dwajiak and one in Hartford, are both a lot smaller than the one in New Buffalo that I've been to many times now. And to say it is smaller is no understatement. And that is it, folks. Now, if you have watched some of my earlier Michiana videos, I did briefly show some videos at the New Buffalo location, and you can tell what a difference this is. This should be pretty interesting. Anyway, I definitely gotta see how this looks inside. I'm hoping at least they have a Timber's Deli so I can grab a quick bite to eat for lunch. Don't know how much I'll be actually taping inside because it is a casino, but uh, let's see what we have here. Wow, this is absolutely crazy. Obviously it has a lot of the same decor, as New Buffalo, but just the size difference is amazing. And lunch is served. We got chicken noodle soup and a turkey, a Thanksgiving turkey, as I call it, sandwich. Some coleslaw. Looks good. And so that was Four Winds Dwajiak. Now, there wasn't much I could actually tape inside because basically the entire casino is the slots, the video poker. Um, they did have a Timber's Deli, that's where I ate lunch. They had the free beverages, um, like the other Four Winds and New Buffalo does. They had a bar. Um, they had like seven table games, I think. Um, honestly, the slots were a little bit more expensive than what I'm used to at New Buffalo, so I didn't even play any games there. But it was cool. It was nice to see. There was a decent amount of people there, but, you know, if you're coming up from out of state or something, definitely just go to New Buffalo. Um, they didn't even have a gift shop there, um, any little stores or anything. Obviously no hotel resort or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it's just the, the slots mainly uh, and a few table games. And that was about it, but it was kind of cool. It's just a small version of New Buffalo. All the decor was the same and stuff like that. So it was neat, but we do have one more to check out in Hartford. Uh, we'll be up there a little bit later today and we'll see, uh, see what they're about. So let's uh, continue on. Well, all right, folks, we have made it to Four Winds in Hartford, Michigan. Let's check this one out. Well, this one looks like it might be a little bit bigger.
as long as they got their signature fireplaces, the place is okay with me. All right, so what is my official report on Four Winds Dowagiac and Four Winds Hartford? First of all, let me say that I'm glad I came out here. I've been wanting to check these casinos out for a long time. I've been to New Buffalo many times. These other casinos have recently opened up through the years, and I wanted to check it out and see how they compared, and I'm glad I did come out. But, that being said, all I can say is stick to New Buffalo. Both of these casinos are about a quarter of the size of New Buffalo. Here in Hartford, it's a little bit bigger than Dowagiac, I'll give it that. There are more slots, there's a couple more table games, but to be honest, the prices at both of these places are about the same and are more expensive than New Buffalo. Now if you're a big spender, not a big deal. I saw a lady in there, she was putting 25 uh, a hit on one of the slot machines, $25, not 25 cents. So, hey, if money's not a big deal, go do it. But, I can tell you this, you will not be able to do any slot for less than 30 cents. And that is the penny slots at 30 lines max each. I tend to look for the ones, the penny slots that I can do for 9 lines, 15 lines, 20 lines, and I found a lot of those in Vegas. I really like the nine ones because it's like nine cents a hit, which is really nice. You don't go through a lot of money. Nothing less than 30 lines max, and you have to do max lines on these things, otherwise it's just not worth it. Video poker starts at 25 cents, um, and New Buffalo, and even in Vegas a bit, you can find five cents, and Penny video poker, that's just not there. Um, I don't know how the table games compared. I didn't really look too much at them. But there's definitely a lot less table games than there was at New Buffalo. So, you know, if you're local, if you're in the area, awesome, check them out. But honestly, if you're coming from the Chicagoland area like me, just stick with New Buffalo. It's closer, prices are better. New Buffalo, you also have the hotel resort, you have an arcade. You have various shops, um, a really nice lobby, and you don't get any of that at these places. So really it comes down to the bottom line is that everything you're going to find here at these two casinos, you will find at New Buffalo, and then some, and it's closer to the Chicagoland area, and it's cheaper. So that's really all i got to say, but it was fun.